right, folks, and welcome back to Procreate. So this is one of the most fundamental lessons in all of digital art, right? This is the lesson on layers. Now, I'm in my gallery. Let's go ahead and let's open up a new document. And now the layers pad is right here where it turns blue. You see I've got some different layers. Now, layers can be thought of as panes of glass. I like to think of them as, as sheets of mylar from the old overheads you used to have in math class. I don't know, most of you aren't old enough to remember that. But if you think about it, they're like transparent layers of film that you stack one on top of one another. And layers are common in every type of digital art. You have to get used to them. They're the fundamental basis of digital art. So in Procreate, you find your layers here. And now you see you've got a background layer. You can change the background color around. We're going to keep it bright white. And then you've got this layer here. Now the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is rename the layer. So with the layer selected, just tap on the layer and now hit rename. Let's call this base one. Oops, one. There we go. And then we tap somewhere else outside of there, and now we've got a layer called base one. Now, let's go ahead and let's swipe to the left. Now, there are three options here. When you lock a layer, watch what happens. We hit lock, and that little lock appears right next to the base. Locking a layer means you can't modify it. So this is actually very powerful because as your layers begin to stack, you don't want to mess with them once you get them the way you want them. So let's go ahead and swipe back to the left. And now you can duplicate a layer. Let's say that you draw something on that layer. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to draw something here. I'm just going to grab a sketching brush. I'm going to do it in red. Why not? Oh, and I'm locked out. Okay, so we have to open the layers. And we got to unlock the layer in order for me to sketch on it. Okay, once I've sketched on it, let's go ahead and duplicate. Now, that creates a completely new layer with the same name. So let's go ahead and rename. We'll call this base two. All right. So let's continue on with base two. And now, if we don't like that layer, say we want to take it out of the mix, we delete the layer. So those are all the menus that are available to you when you swipe to the left. Now, let's say we want to add a layer. You just click on the plus and a new layer is added. So we're gonna rename this, we're gonna call this top. All right, now that's how you add a layer. Now let's say that you wanna move it to the bottom of the stack. This little gray square here, just click and hold and drag. Now what does this do? Let's go in this top layer and let's go ahead and make a green circle. So we select the top layer Let's turn off the base layer. To turn off a layer, all you do is you uncheck the box. Now we make a green circle. Now, watch what happens when I turn back on my red square. Now that becomes visible. Turn it off, turn it on. Now you see how right here, the red square is on top of the green circle. Let's go ahead and move the top layer back to top. And now you see how that totally switched up. So that is how you readjust a layer. So in this lesson so far, you've learned how to add a layer. You've learned how to delete a layer. You've learned how to reposition a layer. Now the next thing I want to show you here, let's go ahead and click inside the gray square here. And we already covered the rename. Now, if you want to select, you can select everything that is in that layer. And you'll see the marching ants that kind of go through and make this kind of a marching gray uh, color. This is selection, so it'll select everything on the layer. Now, if you want to copy the layer, you come over here and you see that we've just copied the layer. And now if we were to paste it, you'd be able to paste the layer. You could fill the layer and it pulls the color from the color palette. You see the green color up there? You can clear the layer, say I don't want any of it. That completely clears the layer, scorches the earth, and allows you to start fresh. 
Then you can do what's called alpha locking. There's an entire lesson on that. All I need you to know here, know where to find it. There's a mask option. Again, masking has its own unique lesson. You don't need to worry about that right now. There's what's called a reference layer. We'll deal with that when we actually begin painting. So don't sweat that right now. We'll get to that in due time. And then you can merge down. So let's do this. I want to show you what this looks like. We're going to make sure we're on this top layer. I'm going to create a green circle again. And now with my layer selected, I'm going to merge it down. Now watch how two become one. Pow. Two shapes, one layer. That's the power of merge. Now, I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And now to undo that, you can consult the gestures lesson. Oops, went too far. All right, so now we're back here. You can also combine down. Now, what that did, you see here, there's a brand new thing that's created. It's called a group. Groups take different layers and combine them together so that they move in unison. Watch what happens when I hit this little downward arrow. It closes the group. When I open the group, both layers are present. Grouping is covered in a completely different lesson because it's all about file management. So all you need to know now, there's a difference between merge and combine. We'll cover grouping of layers in a completely separate lesson. All right, folks, that'll get you started on layers. Layers are extremely powerful, and we'll be working with them really quick here in the first actual project. All right, folks, we'll talk to you in the next one.